Yo, 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 hey guys, it's Poppin' Jockslate here. Back with another unboxing again today. Uh, I think I have one of Nike's most interesting sneakers, probably, I would say, in the last 10 years. Okay, so as you can see, this is dropping in a very new looking box. We have this blue Nike box here, it's in the sportswear box, but that's really not what's important. I just wanted to kind of show you and get and set the mood a little bit for what we're gonna have going on here. But if you look inside, we have this shoe, the Nike Go Flyies. Now I know this looks pretty simple and pretty plain, but it's complicated and simple at the same time. But let's start off with the shoe. So for most of you guys, you already know about the Nike Fly Ease program. It's basically this program that Nike has done that is trying to democratize footwear in a sense. It's trying to make it so everyone can wear the shoes they want, even if they don't have the sort of dexterity that would allow them to put on normal shoes. And that introduced us to the Fly Ease program. And that's where these come in. And they do one thing and they do this one thing really well and it's this. So the shoes literally drop down and come into like a high heel position. It's almost, it almost looks like a high heel shoe. And what you do is you step your foot inside and then you just press down and it locks around your foot and turns into a regular quote unquote sneaker. And the whole point of this is for it to be laceless so you don't have to tie your shoes so if you don't have the physical dexterity to tie your shoes this is an offering that will allow you to do that now for those of you that have been around for a while in the sneaker world you know that nike has done some stuff in this sort of vein before we had like the fly east jordan one that had the zipper that came around and that was awesome and really dope. Then you also have the Nike Adapt series, which you know, you just push the button and it tightens up around your foot or you push the button and it loosens up around your foot. But those still required you to have some, to have your, really to have your hands involved in the process. But with these, you don't have your hands involved at all. I actually tried these on earlier and here's a look at exactly how this works. As you see here, I'm simply just sliding my foot inside the shoe, pressing down, and then I'm in the shoe just like I was wearing in the other shoe and it tightens down around your foot. I shouldn't say it tightens down around your foot. It, it doesn't tighten, it's not like it gets tighter, uh, but what it does is it secures, there you go. It secures your foot inside of the shoe. Now, when it comes to taking these off, it's actually pretty simple as well. Something that I know I do, which I probably shouldn't do, uh, is you step on the heel of your shoe and you just lift your foot out and it pops up. Let me show you how it looks when you actually have it on your feet because that makes it look a lot better. Now on the tech side, there are definitely a couple of things about the shoe that you should know. I personally had questions because I wanted to make sure if this is something that I was gonna talk to you guys about that really it worked, one, uh, how many times it was going to work and how often it would work and what sort of protections Nike is putting in place to protect your foot when your foot is inside the shoe. Uh, so let's start with the outsole because that's probably where most of the magic starts to happen and then it transitions into the midsole. So the outsole, as you can see here, is just really your normal outsole, but it's separated into two sections. You have this heel section and then you have this midfoot slash forefoot section. And the way that it works is you see they have a bit of a V here that's cut into the midsole. And when you collapse the shoe, that's the point where it closes down. It almost like snaps in. So it's like if this is the shoe, it like bounces in like that and it pushes the insole up into the air where you can slide your foot into it. And now it is a very specific angle. So you do have to have the dexterity to get your foot in at that exact angle or around that exact angle for it to work. As long as you can get your toes and your foot inside, you can start to kind of compress down 
and collapse the shoe, but the real mechanics of it start here with the midsole where the midsole collapses down. Now, I've been doing this with my hands back and forth today and be careful and not to get your fingers in here, not that you ever would, but I did pinch myself a couple times. Now, you see here it says fly ease as well, and something that I was concerned about was water. How would this protect your foot if you walked into a puddle or something? If you see here, it does have a crease here to the midsole and that does open up the shoe here on the inside and on the outside, on the medial and on the lateral side. But for general wear, if you just walk over a puddle of water, you should be fine and don't have to worry about getting water inside of your shoe because the rubber covers the entire crease there for that space. Again, when you see it collapse, it is not like the, the midsole, I mean the outsole comes apart, it's the midsole that actually separates. Now the second part of this is the midsole and you have with this midsole band that's going around the shoe and it attaches here at the toe and it also attaches here at the heel but for the rest of it, it is wide open and it has definitely has some tension in it, which I believe helps collapse the shoe. When you lift it up here and close it, you see that the tension happens right about here. That's when it starts to stretch the band a little bit and that snaps it in to the position or the ready position as Nike likes to call it. It's made out of outsole material, so this is going to last, it's pretty durable. So you'll get some wear and tear out of this. Now, the, the third thing, about this shoe is the insole. Now the insole is attached to the front of the shoe. So the forefoot and the insole are attached together and you can see it all, all like the line here is this is all one piece from here all the way down. You have an insole which feels very, very nice but at the back of it, it has a plate that's attached to the insole and my thought is, is that that plate probably travels down to somewhere here on the shoe and that's what gives you the stability you need there at the front of the shoe. Like if I bend it here, you see that there's some bend there but not much bend here in this middle section. So I would say the plate probably extends from here on the insole all the way through to about here on the midsole, which would make sense because you can see Nike implemented a groove here on the outsole to give you the ability to bend there. If that plate was all the way up there, you would lose some of that movement. It reminds me a lot of the sock dart. For those that are familiar with the sock dart, you may have, you recognize the, this shoe or this silhouette because it feels very much like a sock dart, but it has this extra, almost like rubber band going around it. Uh, the upper is just a little bit of mesh, nothing too crazy. So these are definitely going to be breathable. You shouldn't have a problem there. You see they're rocking it with the double swoosh there. There are some heavy wear areas on the shoe as well. And you have a little bit of covering, a little bit of TPU there. So you have it here on on the lateral side near the little toe and then you can't really see it here but you have it capping the toe here as well. Now this may be dual purpose in addition to being like a high wear area but it may also be there to help attach here at the rubber cap. You see this cap here for the outsole to attach this mesh material to the cap. Now moving back to the heel, the shoe is completely collapsible for the most part at the top. As you see here, there's really no, no form here to the top of the upper and the same goes for the heel. There's really no form there. So it all kind of collapses, collapses in until you get like right here, you have a very small heel counter, but that obviously this isn't something that you're gonna be doing any serious athlete stuff in. This is more of a lifestyle offering and definitely should be worn as a lifestyle offering. I wouldn't recommend running in these or doing any serious workout in these. You have a nice midsole that gives you some nice cushioning and it feels good. It's nice and soft and responsive, but it's also comfortable enough where I feel like I could wear these around the house and that would be okay with that. The final area uh, of these is on the heel. So this heel has an extra bit of rubber to keep it sturdy, especially since they know that this was designed for you to put your other foot there in order to take the shoe off. That way you don't, again, you don't have to use your hands. You can literally just use your feet. So all in all, this is something that I'm obviously really excited about. Uh, for me, it's about the innovation and the engineering. I obviously 
don't have to worry about tying my shoes, but for those that do, this is an offering from Nike to help feel a gap that they may have been feeling when it came to their footwear. It makes things easier for them. And that's really what innovation should be about. It should solve a problem for people and allow them to do things easier or to manage things better or to do things faster. And that's exactly what these do and you don't have to use your hands. So, and it, and it isn't only for people that have limited dexterity. This can go to a pregnant woman that uh, can't really bend over anymore and she can put these on, slip her feet into these and wear these. These can go for kids that haven't learned how to tie their shoes yet. They can get these and just slide their foot in and step down and now they have on shoes. You don't have to worry about them tying their shoes. So there are applications for this that I think we haven't really seen yet. I know the, the intention is for fly ease, but after using them for about a day and wearing them around and thinking about them and what they would be used for, I can see other things being used with these shoes. I can see other people using these shoes and making them part of their lifestyle. Now, if you want a pair of these, these are going to be available starting on February 15th for Nike Plus members. Pricing is going to be $120. Now, uh, if you're not a Nike Plus member, there is going to be a general release of these, but that isn't going to happen until later in the spring. They didn't give a specific date, but that is definitely something you should look forward to. So those are my first quick thoughts and I guess my review of these, having worn these a little bit. It's the Nike Fly Ease Go. I think it is something that people are going to like and people that are going are going to get into. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Is this something you would cop to rock around the house? Uh, do you want to look for more colorways? There are other colorways coming. I'm not sure if I can talk about those and what they look like, but I do know that there are other colorways coming. Um, again, I think it's exciting. I think it's something that people can definitely get into. As always, I'm Jacques Slade. Make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe if this is something that you're really, really into. And make sure you stay tuned because there's always a good unboxing coming here on this channel. All right, guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.